The 2017 Power Rangers reboot was sadly a failure. While I thought it was fantastic, the box office didn't share that sentiment. Due to the film underperforming, lots of future plans were scrapped, including toys. I'm Julio Coolio, and today, we'll be taking a look at the cancelled Power Rangers movie toys. The spring wave of action figures was typical for any Power Rangers toy line. You get the Core Rangers, two villains, one of whom was an exclusive this time, and an ally depending on the team. While this initial wave might seem small, there were more figures planned for the fall. These include four different versions of the Putties, the Visorless Rangers, Red Ranger Zordon, and the Green Ranger. While the Putties did get released in some form, these 5 inch ones would have been more in scale with the other figures. The Visorless Rangers and Zordon would have been identical to the original figures, with a few modifications of course. The Green Ranger, however, is the one I'm most let down about. I already talked about how much I love this suit a few videos back, and it's a shame the only merchandise we got representing it is a pop vinyl. Despite most of these figures being re-releases, it still would have been cool to see them get produced. Taking inspiration from the Good vs. Evil series of figures, the Then and Now 2 packs contain the movie figure packaged with their 90s counterpart. This allowed Bandai to capitalize on nostalgia while saving costs by reusing molds from the Legacy line a few years before. While the entire Ranger team was released, there were a few more packs to come for other characters such as Alpha 5 and Rita Repulsa. The 90s Alpha would have repurposed the mold from the 2010 figure, while well, 90s Rita would have been a brand new exclusive figure. While I didn't care much for the 2-pack since I already collected most of the legacy figures upon release, a lot of people, myself included, were disappointed at the cancellation of a new Rita. I hope Hasbro can make up for this soon with their Lightning Collection. The Super Morphin subline consisted of action figures with features such as flip heads and light up chests. Most of these surprisingly got released, even some of the figures planned for the fall. However, the Super Morphin Yellow and Pink Rangers were sadly cut from production. I'm guessing this had to do with Bandai Shift to cutting back on female figures. When the movie bombed, it's obvious they would cancel the girls first. I bet the only reason Rita still got released was due to her being the main villain. It's a shame, since now we don't have a full set of Automorphin Rangers to go alongside their 90s counterparts. There was only one mask that wasn't released, the FX Megazord mask. This one would still have sound effects like the others, but they would be motion activated rather than just pressing a button. Out of all the unreleased movie toys, this is the one I wanted the most. I've loved playsets ever since I was a kid. The command center would have been a nice way for kids and collectors to display their figures. Granted, Zordon's head is just a piece of cardboard, but at least Bandai tried to mimic the scope of the actual location. I think the cancellation of this playset had to do with how poorly the Line Fire Fortress sold. Maybe Bandai thought that kids were no longer interested in playsets and scrapped this one as a result. That probably was the case, given this looks completed. So those are all the cancelled Power Rangers movie toys. Which ones did you want to see the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, share, and click the bell to stay updated on the latest videos. If you want more things Coolio, make sure to follow me on social media and join my Discord group. I also want to give a very special thanks to GreenRanger.com for the information in this video. Make sure to check out his Power Rangers toy archive. Well, I'm Julio, stay Coolio, and thanks for watching everyone!